panic, kids. Ah! I'm gonna find... Ah! Ah! Phew. I'm gonna find some more buckets. Whatever happens, remember, don't panic. Don't panic! <laughs> I didn't know you liked foosball, Erico. I'm just happy something football related's going on in this gym for once. Boom! 10 0 in your face. I hate you, and I hate this game. All right, who's next? Uh, huh? Steven? <sighs> no one else? Really? Oh, why not? I was the king of foosball at college. <laughs> Watch and learn, son. <laughs> hmm? One zero. Whoa, it's fast paced, huh? Uh. Two zero. My hands are sweaty. <laughs> Mommy. Poor Steven. He just needs some support and encouragement. You can do it, Steven! <laughs> Don't make me laugh when I'm drinking, Daniel. But it's true, Erico. The best way to improve someone's game is to encourage them. Uh, with a guy like Steven, there's only one way. Put him under pressure. <laughs> ah! Mr. Sorcerer? You live in the vending machine? Me? Nah, it's just a little job I do on the side to earn some extra money. Huh, so that's why the soda tastes weird. It tastes weird? No, I mean it's... different? <laughs> What? I'm not doing a good job? No, no, not at all! Well, that's what I heard, too. Erico! Do you think it's easy to keep a job with a face like that? Come on, seriously. I never said that! <laughs> I curse you, Daniel Sisu! You will remain a foosball until... Until... Until you get this sweaty dad to win his match! Oh, no! I would not like to be you right about now. And what if I can't do it? Then you'll stay just like that forever! Hello? Forever! Come again. Forever! And I'm gone. 7-0. <laughs> They're in before you even see them, huh? It's no use, Erico. I'm gonna be a ball forever! <laughs> Half time! Who's coming with me to collect slugs? They're like snails, but naked. <laughs> Keep going, Steven. Don't give up! You can still win if you believe in yourself. Huh? Who, who said that? It's me! Here! The little ball! Oh. Steven! Steven? I had a terrible dream. I was being haunted by a foosball. It wasn't a dream, Steven. <laughs> no, stay with me. You have to win this match. I know you can do it. I can't do it, little ball. Don't lose hope, Steven. Why not? If you believe in your dreams, everything is possible. Steven? Sorry, I fainted again. As I was saying, if you believe in your dreams, anything is possible. Get up. Get up and score!
shouldn't be laughing at it, but I mean, come on! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the kid's gonna remain a ball forever! <laughs> and so will you! <laughs> what? If he can't play soccer anymore, he'll never become a champion. And you'll remain a ball, too! <laughs> I needed a good laugh. Right, I'd better go. These floors won't mop themselves. Uh-oh, stuck again. Go on, Steven. Be confident. You can do it. Hey! It's my turn now. You've had your chance, but now my body's on the line. Time to get serious. Oh, no, now there's two of you. But his hand is stuck, Erico. It's always excuses with him. Now you listen to me, you little crybaby. You're gonna get your fingers out of that goal right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I prefer the nice little ball. I prefer the nice little ball. Back to work! And you're cheering him up with baby ice pops. How's that gonna help? Believe in yourself, Steven. Are you really going to lose to a kid? It's the taking part that counts. It's the winning part that counts. Don't listen to your fear. Listen to your heart. If you lose, you'll have to deal with my rage. Listen to your heart. Deal with my rage. Your heart. 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 Half time? One minute. <laughs> Awkward. Hey, my father is not. Look, Junior, Daddy can do a wheelie. Look, Junior, Daddy can do poetry slam. Look, Junior, Daddy's got a new drill with MC Daddy. It's always a party. Look, Junior, Daddy's bought some fireworks. <laughs> I'll never do it. <laughs> Erico, I think we made a big mistake. The big mistake was born long before we came along, Daniel. All I wanted was for my son to be proud of me. Aww. I can't impress him anymore. It was easier when he was little. I could just make faces, tell him a story, or have Mr. Belly sing him a song. Hey! You can't give up now! Think of Junior! Junior? If you knew what Larry said about your son... My son? He's proud of you, you know. Proud? Proud of me? Steven! 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 Okay, game on. I didn't think you'd do it. This is the greatest life lesson you ever taught me. You just blew my mind. Right now, I'm so proud of you. I did it! I did it, Sonny Boy! I did it! That's my Steven. That's our Steven. <laughs> my body! Thank you, Mr. Sorcerer! Hey. Come on, back to training. Yes, Erico. I'm gonna make you run until you can't feel your legs. Huh? 
Because I know you can take it. There we go. And if you don't give your all, you're gonna know about it! <laughs> because you'll hear me encourage you louder. There we go. <laughs> Keep those knees high! Up, 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 up! We're saved, kids. I did it. I've got the buckets. Hmm? Oh, the rain stopped, huh? That's how I won my 12th European Cup. <laughs> I know, Erico. You told me yesterday. I did? Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah! What's going on here? My statue. What are they doing to my statue? Uh, I think they're tearing it down, Erico. No! It can't be! No one touches Erico Platana! I'm the greatest footballer in the world! Everyone loves me! Dad, who's that statue of? A uh, tennis player, I think. A real low life. <laughs> I knew it. The world has forgotten me. Today they tear down my statue. Tomorrow it's my football jerseys. And then what? My cereal brand? They discontinued your cereal a month ago, Erico. What? No, not the Erico Pops! Don't look, Erico. We both know you'll always be a star, statue or no statue. <laughs> what is it? What's wrong? Ah, you scared me. I thought something had happened to him. Erico, why is your statue in my bed? <sighs> I couldn't sleep last night. Easy, easy does it. You stole your statue from the park? I didn't steal it, Daniel. I saved it. And what happened to its face? Easy, ah, easy does it. Nothing, it was always like that. We can't keep your statue here, Erico. It's huge, and it gives me the creeps. Don't listen to him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. What a heartless thing to say, Daniel. Besides, it's only for a few days. Hmm, I'm not sure it's such a good idea, Erico. Daniel. No, Erico. Seriously, it's not a good idea. Oh, Daniel. It feels like you're not listening to me. I knew you'd understand. Oh. Daniel, you really gotta stop with the yelling. I see it everywhere. Yeah, I made a few copies to confuse burglars. Can't be too careful. That does it, Erico. I don't want to see your statue anymore. Not in the fridge, or in the living room, or in the shower. <sighs> Fine, I'll put it back in your bed. No! We have to take it back to the park. What, so they can smash it to pieces? Not in my life. Hmm, maybe we could put it somewhere else. On a roundabout? This statue is a monument to my success, Daniel. Its rightful place is in the limelight. But no one can see it if you keep it here. You might as well have destroyed it. Hey, you're right, Daniel. Everyone must be wondering where it is. Without Erico Platana to show them the way, they must be lost and confused. We're coming to you live from the local park where visitor numbers have reached record levels. There's no doubt about what's got people flooding here. A brand new statue, which has completely transformed the atmosphere of the park, has just been unveiled. The sculptor Giuseppe Provolone explains. To me, the old statue represented the past. 
money, a fame, a bling. It didn't speak to me. What really speaks to me is the simple life, real things. I wanted to create something that reminded us that deeper down, we're all citizens of the world. Visitors aren't the only ones to have fallen under the new statue's spell. The silvery skunk, which hasn't been seen in the local area for over 20 years, has returned to the park. Who said animals can't be art lovers? Ah! They don't care, Daniel. My statue's gone, and nobody cares. I'm sorry, Erico, but it's just a statue, you know. Daniel's right. It's not just a statue. In the end, it's not very important. That's true. It's super important. And I didn't even think it was that good. The chin was too small, and the eyes were all freaky. Exactly! It was a masterpiece. You can't just take this on the chin, Platana. It's time to make a big splash. Oh, yeah, and the way your lips were... That's it! You're right, Daniel. I know exactly what to do. That's great, Erico. I'm glad to hear that, because sometimes I'm not really sure you listen to me. No time to lose. I need a big roll of duct tape, a hammer, a plastic bag, a chisel, plus a raspberry smoothie. What for? We're back in the local park where things have taken a dramatic turn. The new statue has vanished. In its place, a ransom note left by the abductor, which is disturbing to say the least. Uh, how does this thing work? Nope, got it. Hello, I'm in possession of your new park sculpture that was scandalously put in place of the statue of Erico Platana, the greatest footballer in the world. Allow me to remind you that he's not only rich and famous, but he also happens to be a social media influencer, a part-time model, an audacious businessman. Airtime restrictions mean we've had to cut short this section of the video, which spends 47 minutes describing the footballer's career and muscular physique. Philosopher and hairstylist, if you ever want to see your statue again, you must meet my demands. I want a new statue of Erico Platana twice as big as the old one! Or else... The video arrived with a piece of the statue, which had been chopped off as a threat. Investigations are underway to discern the motives of this psychopath. In the meantime, the park has been closed until further notice, leaving art lovers inconsolable. They took it from me! They took it from me! <laughs> oh no! Daniel, we agreed to turn down the yelling, remember? What have you done, Erico? I sent them a message. Let's see if they care a bit more now. And what was this smoothie for? <sighs> ah. That's enough, Erico! This time you've gone too far! You have to take the statues back! Because of you, the park is closed, and that nice sculptor is very sad. It's a power struggle, Daniel. We can't give up now. Believe me, just a few more videos like that and they'll build me a new statue in no time. <sighs> okay, Erico. But I might have a better plan. I'll need some rope, wooden planks, a drill, wheels, and multicolored modeling clay. What for? <laughs> ah, so, Daniel, what's this plan about exactly? <laughs> you dirty rat! Cross is Erica Platana, Daniel! No one! If you so much as scratch my statue, you'll have me to answer to! Yeah! The Silvery Skunk! Yeah! Daniel, what are you doing? Yeah! No! Well done! Bravo, Daniel! You're the one who made me lose control! Don't you act all innocent, Daniel! You wanted my statue gone, too! Just like everyone else! I couldn't care less about your statue! Well, I do care, okay? I'm a star, Daniel! Ugh, you don't know what it's like to give up everything you are overnight! I'm sorry about your statue, Erico. But since you came to live with me, 
My life has changed too, you know. <laughs> yeah, how? I had to get used to waking up earlier because you don't like to sleep in. I don't watch cartoons anymore because you only like football. I had to learn to hold on when I need the bathroom because you spend two hours and 45 minutes in there every morning. And I wear lace-up shoes because you're afraid of Velcro. Gee, oh, the sound it makes is terrifying. I, I didn't know you changed all that for me. I don't mind, Eriko, because you're my best friend. Uh, we have to take him back to the park, don't we? Mm-hmm. A genuine miracle has taken place at the park. The new statue has been found safe and sound, putting a smile on everyone's faces. <laughs> it came back to me! It came back! The statue of Eriko Platana has also resurfaced. The town council will proceed with plans to demolish it as soon as possible. Don't worry, Eriko. As soon as you get your body back, <laughs> we'll build you an even bigger statue. That's nice of you, Daniel. <clears throat> uh, by the way, what was that multicolored modeling clay for? Surprise! Now you have a mini statue in the meantime. <sighs> what have you done with my chin? You know, Daniel, if you don't like that cereal, we can buy any other one. But, Mom. These are Erico Pops! Erico Platana cereal! Erico Plata who? Erico Platana! The greatest footballer in the world! <laughs> There's a contest, too! If you find a golden ticket in your cereal, you win a whole day together with Erico! Can you imagine? Does the golden ticket look like a ticket? Yeah. A ticket that's, like, gold-colored? Yeah. Wow! The golden ticket! This is the best day of my life! I can't wait to meet him. I hear he's the nicest person ever. What's up with this contest thing? Steven! Way too much pulp in this orange juice! I've got better things to do than waste time with fans. Your image needs a serious makeover, Erico. You're a great player, but off the field, people think you're spoiled and obnoxious. Me? Steven, am I spoiled and obnoxious? Fine, I'll do it. But for five minutes, tops. <laughs> Steven, now there isn't any pulp anymore. Seriously! Have you got your golden ticket? Mm. Have fun, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Don't stare at his chin and wait your turn to talk. Mm? Excuse me, I didn't see you there. <sighs> no harm done. <laughs> Erico, this is... Daniel! Daniel Sisu! The winner of the Golden Ticket Contest. Think of your image. <gasps> I'm Daniel! Wait, I just said that. I'm, I'm your biggest fan, and I think you're the best player in the world, and I'm really, really, really excited to spend the whole day with you, cuz... Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold your horses there, Lionel. It's Daniel. Yeah, yeah. We're taking one selfie, and then you're getting out of here. But I thought we might have a kick around together. Maybe get an ice cream, and then you can sign my jersey. One selfie. But... One selfie. Okay, Erico. Excuse me, that's Mr. Platana to you. Have you got your golden ticket? Okay, so who are you? Me? I'm your biggest fan. Okay, security, security. Security, security. 
Get in here! There's a weirdo in here! And he's getting weirder by the minute! That's not nice to say to the kid. He's sitting right here. I think he's talking about you. <gasps> oh! Ah! Whoa! Hold it, Gandalf. Do you know who I am? You might want to stand back there, little guy. Erico Platana, I curse thee! Thou shalt remain a football until such time as thou turnest this boy into a champion! <laughs> Donna? Did you have fun, honey? Yeah, it was nice. Aw, he even gave you a football. So it's true that he's a real nice guy. Whoa, what a nightmare. Are you awake, Mr. Platana? Ah! Where, where, where are we? Welcome to my room! No. No! Oh, hey, handsome. No! I'm in a nightmare. What am I doing here? This way, it'll be easier for you to train me. I made a room for your things, and you can sleep in my drawer. <laughs> Stop smiling. Hello, Tanya? Yeah, listen here. Something terrible has happened to me, okay? I need you to find a wizard ASAP. Huh? I don't know, a magician, an exorcist, a shaman, a... Hello? Hello? Ah, she hung up on me. If you're hungry, I have boxes of Erico Pops, or we could play a game, or do some drawing, or break out the modeling clay. <laughs> okay, Platana, don't panic. <laughs> All I have to do is make this kid into a champion footballer. How hard could it be? I'm the best player in the world. <laughs> so, do you play football, at least? Do I play football? I'll never get my body back. <sighs> Come on, Platana, get a hold of yourself. A good team can fix anything. Do you have a good team, at least? Do I have a good team? That's Steven. His son, Steven Jr. Dad, you're embarrassing. There's Tamea and Larry. Blah. Ribbit, ribbit. 300 frog species go extinct every year. And that's Maya. I can't work with this. No, 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 no. Platana never gives up. A good coach can work miracles. And that's our coach. His name is Maple. Okay, Hazelnuts, who's ready for some tribal drumming? Ribbit. That was a really great practice. Seriously? You spent the whole time napping or playing the bongos. No, that's not true. We also put on a puppet show after the pancake workshop. But that's not football! Oh, I'm going to be a ball for the rest of my life. <sighs> Mr. Platana, uh, I know you're sad and you don't think much of my apartment or my team. But like my idol always says, if you believe in yourself, victory is just one kick away. And my idol is you, Mr. Platana. So count on me to give it my all! <laughs> okay, kid, go get your gear. Training starts now. Thanks, Mr. Platana! You won't regret it! <laughs> uh, Mr. Platana? For Lionel? Sorry, kid. Goodbyes were never my strong suit, Platana. That Nathaniel is right. A Platana never gives up. I'm gonna get my life back starting now.
The disappearance of Erico Platana is a tragedy, but a protracted search and rescue takes time. And time is money. So I've decided to take over as chairperson. Great. Next item. For the new and improved Erico Pops, we've completely rethought the packaging. <laughs> Hmm. Hello, police. What are your thoughts about the disappearance of Erico Platana? Erico who? I don't really watch football. Is this for TV? It's a huge loss for the sport. Huge! And so it's with a heavy heart that I confirm that I've signed a contract with his team to replace him, wearing his number. Huge loss! I'm entitled to a phone call! <laughs> it's okay to cry. I do it all the time. <laughs> hey, you! You got a visitor. Raphael? What are you doing here? It's Daniel! I came to get you out of here, Mr. Platana. I made a deal with the guards. It's true, he's made mistakes. But as my idol always says, if the ref didn't see it, is it really a foul? But why would you do that for me? I lied to you. I abandoned you. And I still don't know your name. It's Lionel, right? Daniel! I know I'm not perfect. And maybe you aren't either. But together, we can be better. I mean, if you're willing to give it a shot. I'm warning you, I'll need a bigger drawer. You can forget about Erico Pops and you'd better work your butt off in training. Okay! Where do we start, Mr. Plictana? You can start by calling me Erico Daniel. Well, not Erico Daniel, just Erico. What's round and gorgeous? No, not me. It's you, little cookies! Those meringues smell great. They're not meringues, they're cookies for the Hazelnuts Bake Sale. Eh? The Hazelnuts Bake Sale? Every year we sell cookies at the sports fair to raise funds for the team. Wow, this is really good. I don't know about football, Daniel, but baking is definitely your game. I added a secret ingredient. Hazelnuts. <gasps> How'd you guess? What's your favorite nut? The name of your football club? The Hazelnuts! On your apron. The ha- hmm? <laughs> The Hazelnuts! Wow, you're one smart cookie. Hey, paws off, naughty glutton. Oh, there's Daniel! And his delicious cookies. <laughs> This is the year we're gonna strike it rich, Hazelnuts. We'll finally be able to afford chin guards! Ah! Yay! Yay! Those dulcet tones. Those perfect harmonies. That smell of warm laundry and of sweaters around shoulders. The, the tennis, tennis club! Ethically sourced and freshly baked. Come get your cookies before it's too late. They're so good looking. This is unfair competition. <sighs> I guess it's another year of bruised shins for me. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You know what this means. <sighs> Oh, hold on, you're packing up? It's a losing battle, Erico. Every year they steal our customers. We're not gonna be pushed around by tennis players. Such nicely combed hair. Such white teeth. Such nicely combed hair. Trust me, Daniel. If I know anything as well as I know football, it's... Hugs! What? Huh? No. Free hugs? Would you stop it with the hugs? Kisses? Marketing, Daniel. Selling stuff. What? Business, Daniel. Business. There you go. 
Thanks, and have a nice day, sir. Hello, sir. Care for a cookie? Mm -hmm. Wait, there aren't just cookies in this jar? <gasps> oh! 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 I'm going to the stall across the street. <laughs> we did it, Eriko. But are you sure it wasn't too mean? There's no friendship in business, Daniel. That's how business goes. Yay! Business! We're getting those shin guards. Shin guards? Come on, you need to aim higher, Daniel. New turf, new bleachers, a water park. Wow, but we'll never make enough money for all that. Not if you work like that, that's for sure. Uh, uh, uh. Hmm? Yeah? What do you want? Uh, I'd like a cookie, please. I'm kind of busy right now. Oh, can I have a cookie, please? What is she saying? She wants some cookies. What are you saying? <laughs> Hi, I'll take a cookie, please. Uh, thanks, and have a nice day. <laughs> you didn't give me back my change. Oh, yeah. Silly me. If you don't motivate your team, you'll never fill that piggy bank. I need to encourage them? No! You need to fire someone to motivate the others! What? Trust me, in business, it's fear that drives people. Think about the new turf. You wanted to see me, boss? Um, yes, Steven. Uh, sit down. I wanted to see you because, um, um... Hmm... Say it! Say it, Daniel! You're fired! Uh, what I wanted to tell you was, uh... I knew it! You're promoting me, right? My wife's gonna be so proud! Huh? Hmm. <laughs> Just a minute, please. I can't do it, Eriko. Steven is part of the team. Bench your feelings, Daniel. Just fire him already. Hmm? <laughs> Steven, but your results are lagging behind your co-workers. We're gonna have to let you go. What? That's my boy. Thank you for your help and take care. Oh man, what am I gonna do? I'm sure you'll find a way to bounce back. My wife is not gonna be happy! Think of it as a new opportunity. <laughs> I knew you had it in ya. See, that wasn't so hard, was it? Hmm. <sighs> Uh, hello and thank you. Hello and thank you. <laughs> hello, thank you. <laughs> now that's what I call a productive workplace. We can do better. Huh? To save time, no more saying hello or thank you effective immediately. Mm -hmm. We'll also be using more flour and less chocolate in the cookies to bring costs down. You sure, Daniel? People seem to like this recipe. That's an interesting opinion, Maple. Why don't we discuss it further in my office?
congrats, Daniel. Remind me never to work for you. <laughs> All right, you know what I'm saying? Perfect timing, Eriko. I wanted to speak to you about further cuts we can make. Ah, that's my little money shark. Okay then, spill it. By my estimation, that's your 16th cookie today, right? Yeah. Sorry, Eriko, but you're eating into our profits. We're going to have to let you go. What? But you can't fire me. We're not just partners, we're friends. There's no friendship in business, Eriko. Think of the new turf. <laughs> you can have half a one. Consider it your severance pay. created a monster. Daniel is out of control. How do I bring him to his senses? Ah, what is this? Blem. Blem. Daniel, you've got to taste this cookie. Blem. No time, Erigo. I'm busy doing the books. Taste! <sighs> hmm, a bit dry, and the new flower is a bit bland. Notice anything missing? <laughs> there are no hazelnuts in this cookie! Bingo! What have I done? The hazelnuts! Senior! Maple! Ah, the lure of a quick buck. Classic mistake. Happens to me every time. Hmm. <laughs> How do I make this right? Hmm. Hello! May I try one? Hmm. Wait! There aren't just cookies in this jar! Hmm. Hmm. There's also years of expertise! A deep concern for a job well done! And a pinch of cinnamon! Huh. Aww. Ah, now that's a cookie worth biting into! Yay! <sighs> there. Everything's back to normal. Yep, and at least we learned something. And earned a wad of cash. Uh, uh, in fact, I may have spent it all as an apology. <laughs> what? Yeah!